Hello, I'm James and I am here today to talk about this, Sombrero Fallout by Richard Brautigan. Uh, this is a book that is the, one of the weirdest fucking books I've ever read in my life. Uh, this is a book by American humorist Richard Brautigan, uh, who was uh, in his heyday in the 70s. Um, he has written this weird novel about an American humorist... <laughs> Uh, who writes a story about a sombrero that falls out of the sky and causes a town to fall into pandemonium. Uh, and whilst this is going on, um, the American the American humorist is just sort of sitting at home, getting more and more anxious about his recent breakup. And there's also bits where it cuts to the girl he's just broken up with and she's just asleep. Um, so, so if that sounds uh, exciting to you, uh, maybe give this one a read. Um, obviously, it is very um, whimsical. It's very much in the vein of very... It's very absurdist level humour. Um, you can't take really much of anything that's going on in here seriously... But at the same time, I think Brautigan does a really fantastic job of, like, exploring these complicated and uh, sort of in-depth personal issues. Um, I know the writer himself had a lot of issues with depression and uh, anxiety and things like that. Um, and it really sort of explores how that um, builds. I think there's a lot of times in here where things are played off for humour. Um, but if you look underneath the humorous surface, um, there's something there that's like, that's a perfect explanation of certain things. Uh, the paragraph, like the chapters are all very short, um, as you can see, and the book itself is incredibly thin. Um, but I think Brautigan explores such an interesting uh, array of uh, thoughts and feelings and emotions and all sorts of weird uh, things in this book um, that... It doesn't need to be any longer. And this is something that I've found with a lot of books that try and be funny. Um, you know, humour is something really hard to do um, when it's conveyed through writing. Because you don't get... You can't do, like, uh, big exaggerated humour that well. Um, if you look at some things that people find funny... Um, in the world like I personally do not share this sense of humor but if you look at things like the Big Bang Theory or you know Friends or any of these like sitcom -y sort of things right um, they're all built around these repetitive jokes like catchphrase jokes and people making loud obnoxious like yeah like over exaggerating uh, to situations it's really hard to do something like that in text because uh, it doesn't carry across when you're sitting quietly on the train you don't you don't read, just because you put an exclamation mark there, you don't read someone who's going, you, you know what I mean? It's it's difficult. And a lot of the problem that I find with books that are trying to be funny is they're trying to copy that style of humour, um, but they're also doing it in novels that are like 400 pages plus long. And it wears thin so fast. Um, but the great thing about this is it's like, I read it in an afternoon, couple of hours really to read, uh, the front to back but it's it's incredibly well done like it's all put together so well uh, it sounds like absurd like it sounds like a premise for a book that could never work uh, the sombrero falls from the sky it's f the sombrero is freezing cold for no reason that's ever explained uh, and like a whole town turns to anarchy uh, but it all makes sense like, it all starts to make sense as it goes along, like, why this would happen. Um, but here's... I'm just going to give you an example, okay? This is, like, from really early on in the book, but it, and it's a whole chapter. But if you if you really care about spoilers, maybe don't watch this part, but this, this, <laughs> this chapter is titled Job. Uh, so here we go, Job. When the unemployed man saw that the mayor's cousin was suddenly very anxious to pick up the sombrero, he panicked. He knew for certain that he would never get a job again if he didn't get that sombrero to the mayor. Why did the mayor's cousin want to pick up the sombrero? He already had a job. His hands weren't covered with berry stains. Now, again, like it, it sounds so ludicrous. How can it make sense? But there's just this... 
ongoing wit and wisdom throughout this book that's just it's unlike anything I've really ever seen before and maybe we'll never see again um, because unfortunately Richard Brautigan commits suicide I think um, way back in the day uh, so, so there you go no more books by him uh, he was found dead in 1984 aged 49 beside a bottle of alcohol and a 44 caliber gun there you go sad ending but a funny humorous man as it turns out uh, I think more people should know about him go out and pick out sombrero fallout it's hilarious it's quick to read and it's a jolly good time. So that's it from me. I've lost my war against the setting sun. And so half this video is really dark. But hey ho, there you go. I'll see you again soon with another video. So make sure you subscribe and do all that other shit to make sure you don't miss that. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.